If your MacBook is running a little bit harder than usual, randomly or especially after the macOS 26 Tahoe update, let's see some really effective cooling solutions to fix this problem. Alright guys, so first please note that hot weather or exposure to direct sunlight for a long time will heat up your MacBook quickly. So if you're taking it outside for a long time, try to use it in a cool and shaded area. And talking about your Mac's physical location, while you use your Mac, try to keep it over a solid and plain surface. If it's overheating while charging, one, try to use the original charger any third-party charging brick or cable will always overheat your MacBook, talking from personal experience. And number two, try not to use your Mac while it's plugged in. Okay, next, having too many apps on Windows open, especially idle tabs in Chrome, Safari, or heavy apps and programs will strain your CPU. So you can either close some windows that's open in the browser, or every now and then what you can do is just force quit all the apps you are not using and close extra windows to lighten the load. Apart from this, some startup programs also run in the background automatically, consuming resources, overheating your Mac. So from settings, just go ahead, check your login items, and then just go ahead, remove any apps or programs in this list that you do not need as a startup program. Apart from this, even if you've closed or forced quit all the windows or apps, some system apps and programs always runs in the background, which is listed right below the startup app list. So if you want, just disable background activities for these apps. Also from Spotlight Search, you can search for Activity Monitor, enter the app, and from this list, you can check out the programs and their percentage of CPU usage. Just go ahead and select the apps or program and stop the program from here. Now this is a harmless procedure. It doesn't have any serious effect on your max performance, so don't worry about that. And finally, pending software updates can slow down the process, put extra pressure over the CPU and contribute to overheating. So if there's any pending macOS update, just go ahead and install it to your Mac. And you know what? Just follow the steps regularly and your MacBook will stop running hot while performing smoothly. Thanks for watching.